to where Arsenal was just able to pick up a kill they would, wouldn't would want on someone who had more experience against them. He goes straight in here. No one really able to establish, but it feels like Red kind of got better at the stage right from the start here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting upbeat. Amsa makes it back safely uh, after Reaper with that. Yeah. Stage control definitely in Red Team's favor. Yeah, Reaper coming up with that text with Edgeguard, just forced the Sheik on stage and gets the tip off. And that's, you know, ooh. Not a great way to start. Yeah, big lead from Red Team here. They get pushed off the stage, but, you know, Reaper's been so patient with his coveries and just managed to uh, make it back to the ledge seemingly almost every time. Mm. Um, Sopo, can Sopo do this? Yeah, this that's crazy, right? Like, Yappy's being dealing with Reaper, and on the other side of the stage, you got shoot at Sopo, just answering arms. Wow, that was two knees in a row from Yappy. Yeah. He managed to clean up uh, both stocks. It's just, yeah, just the percent we're talking about now, but... Ooh, you see how Reaper saw that Chudat was going for a finish straight from the throw? Just shields. Doesn't want to get involved at all. I'm still trying the back throw there to uh, what kind of get his opponent to body block the move coming in, but doesn't manage yeah. to work. Unfortunately, just a little too slow. Excellent zoning there from Chu. Or he cancel back at another excellent tool from the Ice Climbers in terms of the zoning game. This is a... Uh yeah, green team is just struggling to find KOs, I feel like. Yes. They're not in a position where last time against Double Fox, yeah. they can get those like quick gimps. Uh, Ice Climbers and Marth recovering so differently. Yeah. It does kind of feel like the Dutch team have a habit of uh, trying to play a bit too much at the edge, especially because Armstrong's uh, kind of relying on his edge guards, trying to set those situations, but in pushing themselves to the edge, though, they're being punished a lot by big hitboxes and the, the threatening moves from Ice Climbers and that was a down smash kill off the top. Yeah, not stuff. Reaper trying to find the strong side B. But, you know, they're continuing to punish Yappy here. Yeah, the Dutch player's gonna have to find something really special if they want to get back into this. You gotta dig deep. Yeah. This is game one, though. Not as high stakes as it might be otherwise in yeah. S5. And then Chudai gets the Wapple and he puts out. out. That's, see, yes. that is why Pause needs to be enabled. Yeah, I'm certainly not a fan of wobbling. <laughs> Definitely a sort of player who, who will, uh, you know, pause intentionally just to make the Ice player yeah. end the wobble and just take his stock of his, of his own choice, of his own volition. I think, I, I think that's good. You gotta, you gotta maintain some sort of control in that situation. I will, do, if Pause is on, I'll do that. Because it's, especially unless they're a player who is not quite at Chu's level, maybe, and you think, you think oh, they, they might, might drop, drop it. it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, against Chu, I'm, def I'm definitely pausing, pausing, making him drop it. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so, well, counter pick wise, what are you expecting to see here? That's what I was thinking about. Like, <laughs> This Such an unusual team competition. I know. Right? I, it's like I haven't seen this situation before. It's like, oh, it's, I haven't exactly seen like a ton of sets mm. involving these characters. Amza opting to go Fox oh, now. Maybe he's thinking just it was going to work against the Ice Climbers here. We've been, uh, seen this a few times this weekend. I, I yeah, in the crew battle last night, uh, he knew there was an Ice Climbers player waiting, so he goes Fox even against Armada, so yeah. he doesn't have to play Sheik Ice Seas. That's probably a good call. And uh, in, in PAL, uh, do you think Ice Climbers is probably even harder for Sheik here? Yes, yeah. I think it's a, I think it's not a good matchup. Sheik just really, especially on some stages where you basically just have to go to the platform and throw diagonal needles to try and build up the first percent because Ice Climbers crash cancel is so devastating. It's definitely... I, I think this is a good choice because you, Fox's ability against these two characters to get kills is just way yes. better. Uh, than Sheik's would be. I yeah. think there are situations and reasons why he would stay Sheik most of the time, but against these particular two characters. Yeah, so green team end up cleaning up the stocks. Obviously, there's a percent deficit, so hard to say that it's a lead, but they do have a uh, stock advantage right now. The situation really comes back to uh, how much value can red, percent, red team get out of their crash cancel percent. And if they clean up these kills, and you know, it's convincing. Well... It's looking a little more promising for Green Team this yeah. time. They're, I wouldn't say they're in the lead right now, uh, really? by any means. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yappy's percentage, yeah. Uh, but it's looking better than Game One. It looks looking like Fox was the right choice. Yes. Upsos goes back into the stage, but Chudak back throw to down smash, calling out the mistech. 
manages to separate Nana and Popo. See if they can... Yeah, and she's gone. This might be a little easier now. Yeah. Yep, he managed to hold his stocks really well on this stage as well. Can it, obviously, with the high Dreamland platforms, it's going to be hard for Marth to find uh, you know, a strong hit on the Falcon. Wow, that was a really good knee. He waited until the release so that he could get a safe reverse knee to yeah. make sure he got the KO. Yeah. The happy side being up so there, not what they want. Goes off stage. Yeah, His arms not. are going to try and save him because he's putting himself at the edge here. Yeah, he gave and himself yeah, room, but he gets, he punished gets for KO'd it. for it. No? Yuppie's still somehow at four stocks. Yeah, but it's just, I feel like Yuppie has <laughs> ooh, basically no value left in his stock. He might get a few hits here and there, but it's like, he's going to be spending most of his time recovering. And in that meanwhile, is just getting punished. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, can they convert off that? That being said, you know, Red Team are only down to two stocks each, so this is actually five stocks to two. Yeah, that's it. That's definitely a dead falcon right there. Yeah. Oh, arms off stage, shoot out, looking for this edge guard. Doesn't find it. It's a good thing he held on to that. Oh, wow. Was that, I think that was like the end of like Nana's down smash. Yeah, definitely. Because he stopped one of the ice climbers from finishing it, but not the other. Yeah, the ledge drop drill there from arms uh, getting punished by the ice climbers. Maybe uh, with his character pick, he's not feeling super confident on his ledge dashes. He's only just got into Fox. Yeah, not not as practiced. Yeah, but Yappy finds a big knee there on uh, Chudak. Now then he needs to make good work in this TV one time to close out the game. They're definitely in a good position right now. About a full stock up. Oh, oh Chudak finds a down smash. And it looks like, oh, Yappy just clipping back onto the stage. I did not believe in that Yappy recovery. Yeah, he neither. Did. So, you know, Martha the S smash. I suppose the down smash standing there, you think it's going to be enough, but not. Excellent pick up there from Hamza. Really Lead shot back air. Oh, he might make it back anyway. Yabi loses his stock. That's Hamza dangerous. Really needs to hang on to this. Excellent save there from Yabi. He was uh, just hits Reaper off stage whilst Reaper was trying to edge guard uh, Hamza. And. Ooh. Excellent. Good Great finish team. to the game. Yeah. Kills both of them at the same time. Yeah. That was kind of one of those double situations I really like to see. It just comes down to in the. In the moment, who pulls it out, you know? Both everyone on high percent, so it's just like whoever gets does the, the first outplay yeah. is gonna be the one who's gonna take home the, the game. So one to one here in the losers quarterfinals. Hmm. One one. Where do you think Reaper and Chu wanna take this team? Now that they know the fox is out. Yeah. What do, what I feel like thinking? that means uh, the fox is out in the bag now, so you kind of feel like Pokemon, you definitely want to avoid that. Yep. Maybe they'll be thinking about uh, something like Battlefield. Obviously, there's Yoshi's as well. You know, you've got that Mar Marth on the team. Yoshi's story, usually a good stage. Yeah, you get early kills with the down smash on yeah. Ice Climbers as well. Yeah, definitely. Where was game one? Could you remind me? I think game one was Battlefield. Correct me if I'm... No, like, wait. Was it Yoshi's? Game two was Dreamland. Game one was... Oh, it's, it's a good question. <laughs> See if chat, chat save us. What was game one on? I I thought it was Battlefield, but maybe not. Uh, I guess Ice Climbers doesn't usually like to opt for, yeah. opt for Battlefield in game one, it feels like, so. Yeah, I love discussion here from the Dutch team. I'm so happy really talking. Uh, it's good to see, you know, people strategizing, not just, oh, we're just going to go straight back into the game, talking about the way they're going to play it in order to try and come out on top. And we got the sheet pick now back on FD. Interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting because you know this is the if you're talking about the Sheik ice climbers. This is the worst yeah. place you can be for Sheik. But I w I wouldn't want to go back to Sheik in this situation. But yeah. you know, Amsa maybe he's just ultimately more comfortable. Ooh. And game one was Battlefield. Yeah. So. Okay. So this is the zoning situation yep. we're talking about. Oh, excellent oh, roll. Yeah. He sneaks really past though. Reaper with the roll and uh, allows him to separate it. But you know, she does still build up a lot of percent there. Definitely worth doing. That was a crazy stomp Yavi came down with. It's so like, I'm going to come down, I'm going to hit whoever I possibly can with yeah. this. Possibly even my teammate. Then convincing uh, first off here from the red team. Nano on ridiculously high percent, spite 55 on Sopo. She's not going to be hanging around long at all, I don't think. I feel like red team are making excellent use of their shields, you know. Because there's no immediate big follow-ups on the grabs, you know. Down throw to me, it's kind of not so reliable when there's a teammate in the mix. Exactly. Just making shield so much of a better option now. Uh. Sheik's grab, not the best uh, the best over on this side of the Atlantic either. So. Yeah, we got Pal, so no follow-ups on uh, down throw unless you get a tech chase. Or oh, a uh, badly eye. Oh. 
Uh, they just kind of let Chu come back. Reaper yeah. was doing a good job of like, yeah, spacing them out too. Yeah, using the Nas, just trying to cut out a little bit of space for his teammate. Yeah, be keeping a good position to make sure uh, Reaper doesn't punish his teammate. Reaper's getting some extended oh. combos there. On Yappy, oh, no. oh no, double jump on Yappy, that might be a big punishment. But red team force green right to the edge of the stage. Wow, Reaper. Oh, woo, that Reaper must have been a missed input, right? It has to be. There was no one even on that side of him yeah, besides yeah. his teammate. Chudan's just sitting there waiting to cover the roll, so yeah. no reason to throw out that S match there. Oh, the side B punishing Yappy. Cleans up Yappy, stage spikes him with the Uppy. No one wants to die that way. You know, something that's really Reaper's got down is his recovery. He's always making it back to the edge when he's sitting there. Yeah. They're both uh, doing a really good job of that. Ooh. Reaper in particular. Yeah, I'm still trying to get a uh, up smash off Yuppie's grab, but no dice. And, you know, Reaper's just been holding on. He's happy to camp here, you know? Oh. I feel like uh, when the Ice Climbers are together, right, they're happy to play as the going in character, you know, they're happy to brawl yeah. on the ground, whereas when it's down to Sopo, that potential's kind of gone. He's definitely playing safer as Sopo, which makes yeah. sense. Uh, he can't do as much by approaching. Um, and also, he's he ha kind of has to wait as Sopo. He's looking for those, like, tiny opportunities where he can just sneak in a down smash and then mm. get out of there again. Ooh, Rinse crazy little combo there from Yappy. Some DI in from Reaper. Surprised but. Chu held the wobble that long when he saw Yappy was coming at him like that. Yeah. Forward air from Arm, sir. Oh, sneaky side B from Ice Climbers. Just clipping his opponents on the way back in. Good job to Amsa for cleaning that up. Good needles. Doesn't manage to grab the legend time, yeah. though. Reaper back to the edge once again. And, you know, the green team going to be really trying to find this kill on Reaper right away because then they can get some 2v1 time maybe on, uh, on Ice Climbers and Reaper and bring us back because they're both at risk of dying. And if they do, that's an unwinnable 1v2 pretty much. Once he gets caught by the up tilt, that was a good team combo they had going here. Puts Yappy yeah. in a bad situation yeah. as well. Amsa forced to go over to the edge to try and save him because there's no way he can do it on his own. Definitely worked out well that time. Amsa didn't get punished and he kept Yappy from dying. Yeah. Yappy's going to have to play so defensively now. As I said, wish to grab and needs an F smash for his trouble. Definitely in a difficult spot. Yeah. Yeah, you see, he goes from an elf there and just rolls back. He doesn't even want to try and punish because if he dies, you know, that's pretty much it for this game. Whilst he's camping, you know, Chudas busy and uh, Arms just getting some work on Reaper, trying to get an edge guard. That was good for Yavi. He cleaned up that stock. All, he made, all of a sudden, Ooh. he made this so much more Ooh. Oh, if that was a wobble there for Chu, that would have been it, I think. And Yappy, Yappy can let. Oh wow! Yeah, I thought that was. I was about to say it's excellent like, DI, but yeah, here comes the Falcon kick. Like he's coming back, but yeah. apparently not. Amsa in a rough situation, especially as Sheik and Nana still on the board. Yeah, even if he manages to clean up the Martha, you know, oh. to go And yeah, he just pauses to end. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not happy with wobbly. Well, it's, that wasn't. That was barely even the wobble yet. That yeah. was. Oof. Yeah, it's looking. Looking rough for the Holland heroes, dude. Mm. It's. I hope. Do you think we're gonna see the fox again? Mm. It seems like the better pick. You've lost twice with Sheik. Yep. Uh, fox, you did well with. Fox does better against both of these characters, yeah. arguably. Um, as well, especially ice climbers. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's just the safe bet. I know there's always that like oh. I gotta maintain my integrity and stick with my true aim, but he's but done it once now, you know. But sometimes, yeah, he's already he's already dipped his toes in the water, man. Yeah. He's got to dive in. Yeah, exactly. You might feel a little bit cold, but just jump in. You know, <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah, be fine. Exactly. You get used to it. Just twenty XX. Yeah. Let it flow through you. Think about the battlefield here. Ooh, they they they'll be moving on to semis after this. So yeah, there's there's quite a bit, a decent amount of money on the line. Mm. I think. Yeah, and some really excellent teams fighting for it here. It's really interesting to see uh, you know, Chuda and Reaper playing such an unconventional team so far in the tournament. Yeah, really. Especially, you mentioned that they were struggling so much at the beginning. So, yeah. But now, they're all over here. I mean, that was day one. It's kind of your opportunity to warm yeah. up in a lot of ways. So. But they, they've really lost to, like, a UK team who I would describe as, like, middling level in the UK, you know, and these are supposed to be incredibly high yeah. players, so... Definitely a big upset. Shout outs to uh, Wills and Calzum for managing to take that in pools. Good for them uh, managing. Yeah. Managing to get back into it. Focus. 
Um, and now they're, you know, up 2-1 against Amsa and Yapi. Yeah. Amazing team. So, so you see uh, the Fox here in Stadium, you know, the logical pick. Yeah, good choice in there. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to get caught by the fourth smash. Gets caught by the second. Yeah. Doesn't quite angle to make it back. Feels yeah. like uh, they've kind of... They kind of pick targets, right? It feels like uh, Reaper's really happy to be just juggling Yappy all day. And Chudak, been kind of uh, handling arms already. Wow, that was like Ooh. three or four up airs in the knee. Cleans up that stock real quick. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about how much we think the uh, lack of Ice Farms experience might work in. Obviously, it's teams, but it feels like a few of the times there's some tech traps that Ice Farms is going for, and Armstar just is falling for them, you know, and maybe a more experienced player in the matchup might not. Yeah, it sounds. I don't know. It's looking like someone in the Netherlands needs to learn ice climbers. That's yeah. what it's looking like. Yeah, you know, it's one of the reasons that uh, I just think hating on wobbling is kind of a bit, can be a bit destructive because you know, if uh, it's, it's going to happen, right? It's within exactly. the rules, so you need to learn how to play with it, and you need ice climbers in your region to do that. Mm -hmm. It's super, super important because inevitably you're going to have to play someone who plays ice climbers yeah. well. And the uh, red team got a. Uh, Light lead, but Reaper's off stage here. And is this a shine opportunity? This is going to get picked up. That side B was good. It kept Chu from opting for an edge card on Yapi. Yeah. I feel like uh, the green team are used to, when they're playing against Ice Climbers in singles, going for the slow rinse of P edge guards against Ice Climbers, because that's what you used to, you know? Exactly. Back at them, wait till they come back, back at them again. But they really need to find some more faster, time efficient edge guards to pick up the stops quickly. Yeah. Now said, you know, we have got a really even battle here. We might be seeing a 2-2. Armsite eats a tough force smash, but the green team have built up a fair bit of percent here. Looking really rough for Armsite, who's really, in this game in particular, taking the brunt yeah. of... Charge of force smash there from Chuda. Oh! Whoa! Ice Club is forward there. Armsite stepped off the stage to shine spike him, something like that. Just eats a meteor. I did not expect that. From, uh, yeah. Did not Shoot expect out. that at all. Green team in a position where they can still. T oh, yeah, as soon as, as we're about that. to say it, yeah. Yeah. Nasty and... tip of their repo. Oh, no. Ooh, going for fancy team combo sound. You know, they know they've got that wobble, but they want something a bit fancier. That is it. Three, Three one. one. Dutch team finishing up fifth. You know, respectable well, placings. They're not happy about that one. Yeah. I don't think they definitely not looking like it. Uh, props to Chu and Reaper for, you know, coming to day two prepared, mm. looking better. Let me better see, look at this forward air. You see, whoa, wow. it looks yeah, like maybe he smashed the eye off the stage. Yeah, because that angle that he got sent at looked yeah. so insane. I reckon he input a dash to try and go and shine them, and that dash registered as a smash the eye input because he got hit. Yeah. And then instead of hitting down into the stage, he's just hitting down off the stage. Not something that I, like, when I, I saw it happen, but I didn't really understood what yeah. happened for a second. I was like... How, wait, someone just died. Okay, so I think this is the winner's finals. I see a lot of talent sitting down on the stage. Oh boy. I'm seeing Team UGS, Armada, and Android up against Professor Pro and Ice. So I got Prof 